Constitutional scholar Pamela Carolyn took heat for making this analogy during her testimony yesterday. Take a look. The Constitution says there can be no titles of nobility. So while the president can name his son Baron, he can't make him a Baron. When you try to make a little joke out of referencing Baron Trump, that does not lend credibility to your argument. It makes you look mean. Really? Oh, well, you should Am I wrong? You <laughs> so mean. I mean, think about all the things his father said <laughs> about different people. But excuse me, she, well, I just, maybe they missed this part, but she was not speaking about the child. No. Yeah. She was speaking about his name and how it played into what he could not do. He cannot take a title. She was not being disrespectful or nasty. And even if you thought there was something questionable about the joke, you might have just said, you know, I don't know if I would have made that joke, but I understand where you're coming from. But Melania then you could have moved about on. It, didn't she? You she know? Was upset. And Melania was upset. Again, can't said you guys nothing imagine to do with yourself? The kid. Can't you imagine yourself saying exactly the same thing? Like, I, I could just imagine well, you have to tossing have sense, that off. You have to I, have a sense of humor, and a lot of these people do not have it. But I, I, why aren't they concerned about the 70,000 children being held at the border? They're worried about this one child? <laughs> who, yeah, he, deserves, he deserves respect and love and affection. He's a lovely kid, as far as I can tell. He seems like a nice kid. But as you said, the, the joke was about it, the father. But it wasn't even a, it wasn't it was a, a joke. It was a too. play on words. It, was a pun. it had nothing to yeah. do But she with... apologized. But you, yes, you, she did. I might be the only one here that, that sees this as pretty sick and a uh, total sick. low blow and stupid. I, Yes. But why is it sick? Because you could also read the joke as barren, meaning not something that's dignified. Well, she said it was a joke. It was an it's analogy. A, no, it's an... It's Whatever. Not, it was, she didn't mean yeah, it, it as a, a joke. But she why, was do you just, think it, yeah. why do you think it's sick? Talking to... Because I think political kids, unless they're out on the front lines, I think they're off limits. I'm the only one at this table that has been a political child. I'm sorry. I think any time you go there, and frankly, this is what I was talking about in the previous well, we segment, is, is Democrats continue to give Republicans, who have no defense for this call, they continue to give them ammunition and headlines. Today yeah. we're talking about this instead of every headline being about the impeachment. Well, what are I they think supposed that's very to do? stupid can, on the Democrats. Are they supposed part. to just put you know, you know, also they, tape over their mouth? I, 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 but speak? also, the, but can I just say to the kids in cages argument, it's brought about every other day on this show and elsewhere because I feel like that's always the defense that you go to to defend what you can't defend on well, Democratic let me, side. Let me give you something, well, that, that, let me give you something else. Let's do that. I was just yeah. about to say, let's go to food stamps. But can, but can I say, uh, weigh in on what Abby yeah, is saying? Yes. I actually agree with you. I, 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 I thought that it was so ill-advised and quite frankly just dumb yeah. for a constitutional scholar during a very important <laughs> hearing, an impeachment hearing, to make a joke about the it president's wasn't a joke, son. Sonny. I thought it was, and I thought it was bad no, humor, joke, and I left, thought it was but, uh, okay. or pun. So, so I bad it was time. Very, you it didn't was, like it the was fact bad she timing. Did. She apologized. Okay. She apologized. And it was, I don't think it Barron was, should be talked about. And I agree. We should ask Chelsea Clinton how it feels to be talked about I, when well, you're here. Well, we should ask if they were really vicious about. Yeah, we should ask a whole bunch of folks. I didn't like who how vicious it is, and 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 you know. Some people get it, some people didn't. You felt it was too much. I felt she was trying to and make a point, which I understand. Also... But I do oh. want to get to this thing, because yeah. what's really pissing me off is while we're talking about all of this, there are children about to be let go on food stamps. And I just yeah. want to know, I would like to know, all of the, the, the numbers that back that up. Because I don't, I have been on welfare. Okay, I, I lived on welfare and it was very, it helped me. It was good for it to be there right. for me. I want to know how many people are sitting around because they use this, this argument yeah. in the, <laughs> what was the 70s yeah. the with Reagan, queen and... the welfare queen and all that. People are not sitting around yeah. hoping to just, people are trying to find work, yeah. okay? People are mm -hmm. trying to find work and you are not allowed to really work at all if you're getting stamps or assistance. You have to make all kinds of movement. Now, you want to change the situation around, that's something. But why are you trying to knock all these people up? What about the elderly <coughs> who are also able-bodied but maybe unable to go out and do a job? What are you doing? What about kids? They're able-bodied as well. You knocking them up. What the hell, man? Yeah. What the <laughs> hell? Yeah.